Come, come. Hi guys, how are we this afternoon? Are you enjoying the show? Yes? Very good. We've got lots in store for you this afternoon, so hang around. And we've got a bag going around that we're going to get you to put all your business cards in. And then at the end of the show, we're going to draw a business card out and there'll be a prize. I'm going to announce the prize a little bit further on, keep the suspense going. So come take a seat, girls. So maybe if you can be in this one here. And you have a seat here. So we've got three lovely models up here for you this afternoon, and we've just recently launched uh, the salon menu. So our salon menu offers many different ways that we can utilize one product. So many different results of using our GK smoothing system to create different um, variants. So if you want it to be nice and straight, we can create that. If you want to keep your curl, we can do that as well. And then it, some people just like to have a little bit more shine and recondition their hair after having chemical straightenings. You know, the hair gets a little bit like fairy floss on the ends. You can go back in with this treatment and it'll help to rejuvenate and replenish the hair and put that moisture and that strength back in. Okay? So as the guys just get set up here, I'm going to talk about what we've done to our models because you can see that half of their head has been pre-done. Okay? So feel free to come up and have a feel of how that feels because this is a completely finished result. And then what I'm going to apply on here has been uh, pre-shampooed. It's had the product applied and then we've allowed it to sit and soften and then I'm going to show you the blow drying and the ironing techniques because it might alter slightly to what you're traditionally used to okay and that's what allows us to get that smoother sleeker finish okay on our model over here we've done something called a super straight so this is a brand new concept from our salon menu so it's very exciting but you can see how shiny and soft her hair is and how it's not sitting flat from ironing either because in this process what we've done is we've gone through and prepped the hair with our pH plus shampoo, so that helps, helps to open up the cuticle layer because we don't, uh, doing this process, we don't break any bonds or damage the hair, we're only adding to the hair. So we need something that's going to open up that hair to allow the treatment to penetrate. So that's why we use a pH plus shampoo. It's a pH of 8.5, so we know that that's an alkaline, and that's going to help to open up that cuticle layer and allow that treatment to penetrate. Okay, so we've gone in and done that. We've applied, uh, dried off to 80%, which you're going to see Amit do here. So he's going to dry it off to 80%, and then we're going to go through and apply the product, blow dry the product into the hair with this process, so slightly different to the process here. And then we're going to iron it in, and then we rinse it out. So when we rinse it out, we can basically just rough dry uh, the hair, and you'll see that it'll fall to this kind of soft, more natural look. So it doesn't look like it's been freshly ironed. The client leaves with clean hair on the day, she doesn't have to wait to shampoo. She can tie it up. She can tuck it behind her ears. She can go to the gym. So it allows it to be much more flexible for our clients. Because how many clients have said to you, but I need to tie my hair up? Come on, I'm sure everyone's had somebody say this, right? Yeah? Cool. So I'll let Amit start here, and I'll move over to our third, blow drying our third model. And previously, just recently, like a, maybe a week or something ago, we've had a chemical straightening? Or longer? Longer. longer. Okay, so... A bit more than a week ago, we had a chemical straightening on here, and you can see that the hair is really long. So we know that this hair towards the end is quite old, or it's, it's been around for a while, right? <laughs> so it needs a little bit more moisture and a little bit more conditioning. So we've gone ahead and done our deep conditioning mask on that. It comes in a little pot like so. And we've gone through and uh, used the pH plus shampoo again because it is virgin hair. It doesn't have any color on. So we needed something again to open up that cuticle layer of the hair. And then we went in with the, uh, with the deep conditioner and we left that for 20 minutes. Okay, you can put that under um, a steamer or a dryer to make it more luxurious, more like a spa service in the salon. So again, it's allowing you to kind of uh, excess on your bill, make more for your bill, make more money for you. We earn better and we live better, right? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so after the 20 minutes, we rinsed it out. Just rinsed it out, no need for conditioner or anything. There's been no product put in here. And Sabina's going to blow dry this and show you how it feels and how the condition feels after having that deep conditioner, okay? So we'll get started, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing and about GK as we go along. Sound good? Sound good? Yeah? Are we excited? Yes, let's go.
So you might have noticed just now as well that I was just shaking the bottle. The reason why we do that is because there's no chemical reaction or anything happening by two products going together. So again, this ensures you that it's not a chemical straightening, okay? There's no chemical reaction happening. The reason why we shake it is just to make sure that all the active ingredients are ready to go, okay? So you see that um, it's just taking a little bit of that moisture out because we're going to be... 80% dry? Yeah, about 80% dry. So we want to make sure that we take enough moisture out because we're going to be blow drying the product into the hair. Okay, whereas on this one, I'm going to be applying more product. Sorry, not more product. I'm going to be blow drying. But when we do traditionally do the best process, we do apply more product because we want to saturate the hair, okay? So it's working in a slightly different process. This is allowing us to be uh, much sleeker and much smoother in our end result. And this is a more manageable. She can have it smoother or she can keep her curl. You can also do color in between this process. So that's what the, salon's all, uh, the salon menu is all about, making this more, um, have more variety for you and more flexibility with what you can do for your clients, okay? So we just turn this lovely model around so you can keep seeing her hair being done there. So it's always really important when doing this kind of procedure as well to keep the uh, sections really nice and clean so that you know where you've been and you know where you're working, okay? I'm sure you do that with haircuts anyway, so same concept. It's really important when doing something like this. I know as hairdressers sometimes we can get a little bit lazy and we think, Oh, I'm getting tired, I can't be bothered anymore. But that's when the, the result is sacrificed, yeah? It's the same as with color, when we're too lazy to run to the back bar because we think, oh, we can get by with this three, bit, three mils of color left, but it's never going to be enough. But we all think we can make it work, right? So it's just about being a little bit more disciplined and working a little bit more methodically. And your clients will appreciate you for that as well. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you a wrapping technique, and I'll tell you about it before I turn the dryer on, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Okay, so you want to brush the hair through so that there's no tangles in the hair whatsoever, and you're going to be holding the section out at 90 degrees, okay? The reason why we say 90 degrees is because if I drop it down here, it makes it very hard for me to get that brush in at the roots, okay? So that means I'm going to end up with a fuzzy band at the roots of where I haven't been able to get the uh, brush in close enough. So you can sometimes even ask your client to pop their head forward, taking that out at 90 degrees, placing the brush in, and wrapping it around, okay? And then that way I could walk away and that brush is not going anywhere, okay? So it's really important that you have good tension on the hair. And this technique is great even for your everyday straight blow dry. It doesn't have to be just for the best, okay? So I'm going to get started or we won't see any hair. <laughs> Okay, what Amit is saying that he's a little bit shy, we didn't want to give him a mic and scare him, it's his first time on stage, so let's give him a round of applause, make him feel welcome. Woo! Now I've embarrassed him, that's what I was going for. Anyway, what he wanted to explain to you is that you want to make sure that you don't put too much product on, because we're going to be blow drying it into the hair. So if we overload it with product, A, we're going to be not cost effective for the salon, and B, we're going to be clogging this hair up with too much product, okay? It, it works best when there's not too much product applied. So traditionally for a hair uh, with this amount and this length, we would use about 30 mils of product, okay? So he's going through and dabbing at about uh, one dab about every one inch, okay? As you go down the hair strand so that you get an even consistency throughout and then you're massaging it through, okay? And prior to that, he dried it off to 80%. Okay, everyone's 80% is a little bit different, but just so the hair is not dripping. Okay, so if you feel the hair and you think it's still got a lot of moisture in, perhaps it needs to be a little bit drier. Okay, but this you can see I haven't rough dried at all. 
I'm drying straight from wet. Okay? So I'm going to carry on with this. How are we going over there with the blow dry? Good? It's very long hair, that hair, isn't it? I'm sure you see lots of that in India, right? I've seen some girls with some really long hair. I thought I had long hair until I came here. See that I'm wrapping the brush around, and being careful to brush the hair as we go as well because I've seen some people they just wrap it around and it gets stuck and they just either keep trying to pull or they don't brush it through and they just get stuck again on the next time around, okay? So it's really important to keep brushing the hair through, keep it nice and smooth and silky because that's the end result we rub. So if we're working against ourselves and making knots, then it's going to sacrifice our end result. And you can see just from the blow dry that we've already got that nice shine there and it's nice and smooth. That's without even ironing, okay? So that's what I think as a hairdresser is a great thing about this process. It's not so much about the ironing anymore. I don't know how many people have done keratin treatments in the past, but there was always a lot of ironing and over, 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 over with the irons. A, it's a lot of hair, uh, heat on the hair, and B, it's very laborious for us as hairdressers. So I think this is a great new technique that allows us to be a bit more disciplined with our blow dries. And then our weekly blow dry clients are that much more happy. And also it allows us to not have to use too much heat on the hair with the irons. And then it's a little bit less labor intensive for us. So we don't feel like we're slugging it out all day, yeah? So don't forget to come and put your business card up in this bag as well. I'm going to put it up the front so it's a little bit more accessible for you guys. Because this is the iron that we're giving away. So if you make sure you put your business card in here, at the end of the presentation, we're going to draw out a card, and whoever we draw out is going to win the iron. So it's a great iron. It's got titanium plates, and it's also got a curve in the head so that you can actually get into all those little angles. You've got one for me? Pop that in there. Thank you. Who hasn't put a card in yet? A free iron, guys. How many, to, how many days in the week do you get offered a free iron for a business card? Pretty good opportunity, I think. So as I was saying, it's got a nice curve in the head so you can get into all the little angles around. Um, and it's also temperature controlled and it's digital as well. So no matter where you are, um, you'll be able to see the temperature as you're working and you can actually have it in either Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius as well. So it's nice and manageable depending on what you're doing with it, okay? So you can go up and down with the temperatures. So for the girls up here, they've got quite strong hair. So we've been using around 230. And then over here where the hair was a little bit finer, we'll be using 200, okay? If somebody's had a chemical relaxer before, or perhaps they've had a lot of coloring, their hair's quite damaged or quite fragile, then you want to go ahead and use uh, around 180, okay? So you want to just be a little bit more gentle with the hair. And I've also been teaching these guys over the past couple of days that it's always better to go one pass slowly and get a nice consistent smooth result than to go many times fast, okay? Because if you go many times fast, you're not going to get a nice sleek result because some areas are going to get more heat than others and you're also going to overheat the hair. Okay, so better to go one time really nice and smooth than many times fast. Okay, so that'll be the irons that'll be getting given away for free. Who wants a pair of irons? Scream GK if you want a pair of irons. Louder. Louder. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to continue on here because at some point today my lovely model would like to go home with a full head of hair done. These guys have been together with us this morning for quite a long time and they've been very well behaved. So thank you girls. Let's give the models a round of applause. Woo! And they have nice hair, so that's always handy.
has our application going, yep. So you can see that he's massaging it through as he goes as well to make sure that we've got it all even throughout the hair. With the traditional application of the best, which I did here as well, you can treat it like applying a semi-permanent color. Okay, so you know, if you look at somebody's hair like this, you're gonna say, uh, depending on the brand that you use, perhaps, depending on the consistency of the color that you use, you'll be able to tell whether you're gonna need extra product or less product. That's what the best is like. So I could look at this hair and think, okay, she's got a decent length of hair, there's quite a amount of thickness. I'm probably gonna use about 120 mils of color. So if I was gonna use 120 mils of color, I'm gonna use 120 mils of the best, okay, for the traditional application. If you didn't do that, you'll find that like you would with a color, you'll end up with a wishy-washy result. So the client will come back and say to you, some bits were smooth and some bits were frizzy. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're getting even consistency throughout the hair. The same as if you were putting a color on and then you see after you take the color off, oh, what happened? It's a bit patchy here and there, okay? make sure you have really good tension on the brush as well so you can see that I'm really pulling on the hair there because all the best does is goes in and softens the hair so the strength of the smoothing and the hair being uh, straighter so to speak is in that of me blow drying okay so if you're not pulling hard enough and having a good tension on the hair you won't get that smooth sleek result and you keep blow drying until you see that shine comes through okay so the more I blow dry the more shine I start to see comes through and also the brush will feel like it slips through the hair much easier. So because the girls in India have very long hair as well, it's important that you make sure when you are blow drying that you go all the way to the ends. Because I have had a few people tell me that they feel like the very ends don't feel as smooth as perhaps a little bit higher up. I understand that the ends are naturally more dry on everybody's hair because the hair is much older. But you just want to make sure that you do go right the way through with the blow dry and with the irons, okay? And we're taking slightly smaller sections than we would with a normal blow dry as well. The reason why we do this is because it's the, like I said, it's the strength of our tension doing the blow dry. It's the heat of the hair dryer and the size of our section. So if our section's too thick, you're not able to get that sleek, smooth finish. And always no bigger than a peace sign, okay? So if the hair section is bigger than a peace sign, then you need to take it in half because you have the most tension in the middle section of the brush. So once you come on the outer sections, you start to lose the tension and it won't be as smooth. So we're now blow drying this into the hair. We're using a medium heat. So again, we don't want to overheat the hair and we want to be able to blow dry the product into the hair. Okay, so it's taking section by section as we did before, still working nice and neatly. Whereas for the blow dry here, I'm actually working with a high heat, okay? So that you need a little bit more heat when doing this one and a little less when you're doing that, okay? For anyone who's just joined us, come down and make sure you put your business card in the bag as well. Have you guys been over to our stand? Has anyone seen it right near the front door? Yes, no? No one's seen our stand? She's seen our stand. Who else has seen our stand? 
Nobody. Wow, we must be invisible today, huh? <laughs> She's like, I see it, it was great. Well, if you haven't had a chance to see it, be sure to come over after the show and we can talk about more about the products and we can show you the other products that we've got available as well. So you can see, even though that I need to use a lot of tension with this blow dry, it is quite easy to blow dry because the product's been rinsed out. So when the client leaves, she feels fresh and clean. There's no product left in the hair and there's no wait time for her to shampoo the hair either. Which I think also with the being able to tie up is quite important in this climate. You find it quite warm, so you don't want to have all this hair sitting on your back in this heat because she's allowed to clip it up and do as she pleases. She can twist it away and do as she, as she pleases. Oh, I've got a new recruit. Are you coming to do a blow dry for me? So is everyone here today from Mumbai? Or are we from other places? Other places? Yep, okay. Hands up who's from Mumbai. Okay, so we've got quite a few. Other places? Very good. Delhi? Yep, we got a Delhi. Very good. I've been told Delhi is a very nice city. From Mauritius. Mauritius, ah, very exotic. Well, I've come along from London, and so far India is a very nice country, so thank you for having me here. It's my first time visiting. So you can see that even though this side has been ironed, there's not a lot of difference between the blow dry and iron if the blow dry is done properly, right? So the iron at the end is literally just to gloss over the hair. So just to add a little bit of extra shine and to seal the cuticle layer. All the work should be in the blow dry. Okay, so if the blow dry has been done perfect, there's lots of shine, it's nice and smooth. There's no need to go in with really fine sections and many passes with the irons. The irons are literally just to seal it over, okay? Because I know uh, everyone client-wise is getting much more uh, savvy and much more knowledgeable with what's happening to their hair. And many clients will say to you, I don't want to have a lot of heat on my hair. Can you not use the iron sometimes, they say. I've got a nod up the front here. She's like, yep, all the time. So in this respect, you can say to them, the irons are literally just going to gloss it and go to seal it over. Or for this climate especially, you could say to them, it's going to be a humidity protector. It's going to seal it in. It's going to keep your blow dry for longer, which a lot of clients would say, yes, please. <laughs> okay, so if it's going to seal it in, stop it from frizzing up, stop that humidity getting into the hair, they're going to be happy to do that. So for anyone who's just joined us, make sure you come up and put your business card in the front here to win a set of free irons, so it's a free gift. And I think there's quite a few business cards in there, so it should be a very interesting draw. How many of you own salons? Salon owners? 
Yeah? Well done. I think it's a very good achievement. I hope to one, one day also do the same. <laughs> Are some of you already using GK in the salon or just hearing about it now for the first time? First time, yeah? Anybody else? First time already using it? Yeah? So we're actually in 65 countries throughout the world. So we have offices in China, offices in Dublin, uh, in Ireland offices in Australia and also offices in the United States. So there's plenty of customer support as well. Should you ever have any questions, feel free to pop it up on Twitter. We also have a Facebook page. And there's also a Facebook page for GK India as well. So get on there and follow those guys and they'll be able to update you on the latest things that are happening with the company and also the latest thing that, things that the trainers are up to. So perhaps they've experimented and found a different way of using something that'll be put up on the Facebook page. And if you do use it in the salon and you find that you have a great experience or an experience that you'd like to share, you put it on Instagram and you tag at GK Hair, we'll get on there and we'll like your picture. So then everyone that follows GK Hair will see your picture and see what you've got up to. And as a company, it's really nice because we are in so many different countries to see what everyone else is doing because sometimes they only get to see what's happening in London. So it's nice to see what the guys in the States are doing and the guys here are doing and sharing together, yeah? Does everyone use social media? Who's got Facebook? Come on, there has to be more than that. Facebook, who's got Facebook? Wow, I have some friends in the crowd for a change. Normally everyone has Facebook. I don't have Facebook either. But I do have Twitter and I do have Instagram and I think they're a great great tool for promoting our business and great tool for promoting our salons as well. So make sure that you get onto Twitter and Facebook and also Instagram. So you can see I'm just going back over those ends and making sure they're really polished. If the hair isn't polished at the end of the blow dry, there's no point in picking up the irons. They're not going to save your work, okay? You need to make sure that you're doing a good job in the blow dry before you move on to the ironing process. And like I said before, always working in nice, clean, neat sections. So these are great, a great little tool as well, especially for the thicker hair. Have you guys seen these clips before? Yeah, you've got them? They're really good, aren't they? I couldn't live without them now. Every time someone walks in, even for a thick haircut, I'm like, where are my GK clips? I need them. And I find them all on everyone else's trolley in the salon. And I'm like, I'll have that back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then now they try and tell me they're theirs. I'm like, they're not yours. Give them back to me. They're my clips. <laughs> so they're a very good handy tool, especially for the thicker hair. this as well. I'm going to hand around one of our uh, best sellers. It's a serum, but we do need to use it at the end of the show. So if you can make sure it makes its way back up to the front, but feel free to use some, put some in your hair, smell it, see how it feels. It is one of the number one best sellers and it's a really great product. It's something that I use in my hair every day and it has our key ingredient, which is Juvexin. Okay. So Juvexin is unique to GK. You won't find anyone else who has it in their product and it's a blend of proteins and peptides, okay? So helping to strengthen the hair and rejuvenate the hair. So that's our key ingredient. And the great thing about the number one bestseller is that it's argan oil and juvexin. So when you have a client come in and they say, I'm using all these oils at home and I feel like it's moisturizing, but my hair's breaking still because perhaps they've had chemical services, overly colored, overly porous hair. 
This is going to be something that's going to give them the moisture and the shine of a normal oil, but also the repairing qualities because of the Juvaxin, okay? So there's Juvaxin in all of our aftercare and all of the products that we've been using up here today. So I'm going to pass that around, but make sure it comes back to me, yeah? Because I need to use it at the end of the show. But feel free, like I said, feel free to use it, put it on your hands. It's really lightweight, so when you rub it in, it literally disappears. So if the hair was quite thick, then you would use more, and the thinner the hair, then use less. But it can go in both wet and dry hair as well. Yep, so it feels uh, quite soft and moisturized, yeah? <laughs> She's just laying it on some hair that's sitting by her. <laughs> and how's the smell? Does it smell nice? It smells really nice. She's going to be walking around like this for the rest of the day. silicones in the, in the uh, serum either, so you won't find that when you start to wash your hair that it still feels heavy with product, it just washes away, so it doesn't accumulate on the hair at all. Okay, so Amit's now setting the irons to 200, right? Yeah. Yep, so 200 degrees. The reason why 200 and not 230 is because the hair texture is fine, so we want to be, again, mindful of the hair, okay? GK is all about beautiful hair, so if we're over ironing the hair or being rough with the brushes and things like this, then we're going to be taking away from the integrity of the hair, and we want to add to the hair and make it extra shiny and extra smooth. So you'll see that there's quite a bit of uh, a little bit of residual product in here at the moment because obviously the product's still on the hair. Once we do iron, then we will rinse the product off and then blast dry the hair. And then that's when you see that you get this result. So there's no product in the hair. It's nice, soft and silky. There's no wait time to shampoo. She could go and wash it again if she wanted to. But uh, a light shampoo. Yeah, just a very light shampoo. Pardon? There's, okay, so with this, the only smoke that you would get if there's any moisture left in the hair. There, there's no smell, no, because it, there's no formaldehyde in this product whatsoever. Okay, so we have all the certificates to... It's just from the moisture in the hair, so there's... No, there's, there's no like offensive odor or anything. Even, even when you're applying, previously I've heard about... Yes, no, 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 because that's got formaldehyde in. So there's no formaldehyde in this product whatsoever. Yes, yes, I have, I have a lot of clients. Yeah, I have a, a lot of Afro-Caribbean clients, frizzy and really thin, uh, but really, really tight curls really frizzy and really tight, uh, like ringlet afro hair. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. So instead of doing a relaxer, I'm now doing a lot of this on my own clients who are Afro-Caribbean. No, 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 I'm actually from Australia originally, but I'm in, based in London now. The, this new product will allow them to get a smoother result. It won't be as straight as a relaxer, but a lot of my clients who have Afro-Caribbean hair have found that whilst it doesn't necessarily make it as straight as a relaxer, they have much more condition, and instead of their hair being this length, it's now this length. We say up to 80% smoother. So again, it's in the strength of the blow dry. So if the blow dry is not done really well. Yep. 
Yes. Yeah, so that's why our key ingredient, the Juvexin, allows us to add the conditioning and moisturizing and repairing benefits and helps to defrizz the hair. And then the strengthening and the smoothing comes in the blow dry. Okay, so I've just had a very good question, which I've been coming across a lot uh, while I've been here. Lots of people do chemical straightenings and relaxers, yes? So you can do this straight over the top of that, okay? This is to add the condition back into the hair. So to answer your question, yes, after having the relaxer done, they could get, then come and have this same service. However, when you blow dry, you need to still take the same care and still treat it like hair that's been relaxed, okay? But it will definitely add the condition back in and make it more shiny. I have got a couple of clients who do that as well, but obviously, yeah. Who wants a free iron? Everybody wants a free iron? Louder, you guys are from India, make some noise. Cool, well make sure you put your business card in if you haven't yet, okay? So we're gonna check out our model here that's been finished. So it's just been blow dried and today she's had the deep conditioner. So it feels much softer than when I first touched it earlier, no offense but it had had a uh, chemical straightening or a rebonding. So it was a little bit tangly towards the ends because it is quite long hair uh, it, and quite straight, obviously, but it's just added in that moisture and that conditioning back. So that's also why I wanted to do that on here today because it's a slightly easier and uh, shorter process than the best and the super straight, but it's adding back in that condition. So it's another way that the client can benefit from using GK products without having to uh, sit in the salon for a long time. So if they don't have a long time or they've just come and had the chemical straightening done and when you've neutralized and then you want a really deep conditioner to go on top and a really rich moisturizing treatment, that would be our deep conditioner tub, okay? So that's got the Juvexin in. It's also got jojoba oils in. So it's helping to deliver that moisturizer and that protein. So I find a lot of masks in competitive brands are either or. So you never really get the protein and the moisture together. So this is a great one to finish up and seal in that chemical straightening. Okay? So I'm going to get our lovely model to walk around the crowd so that you can feel her hair and you can see how it feels um, after having just the deep conditioner. Okay. So she's going to go around and uh, you can feel her hair. And we're just finishing up over here. And if you want to see this lovely lady finished up, you're going to have to come back to the stand and visit me. Okay? So if you would enjoyed us up here, come over to the stand and we're going to finish off at the stand with that because we've got about five minutes to go. So has everyone got their business cards in the bag? Yes? Anyone doesn't have a business card in here? We've got lots of business cards. Well done, guys. So I want to hear some excitement for this iron. I want to hear, what do I want to hear? Professional beauty. No, no one wants to scream professional beauty at me. GK? 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 GK India. Woohoo! Okay. I'm going to recruit you. Come, come. She's going to be our lucky drawer, so let's hope she's got some good luck today. Just pick. <laughs> it's so hard, there's many in there. Okay, so who's the lucky winner? The lucky winner is Sunita Agarwal from Angel Hair and Beauty. Woohoo! Give him a round of applause, guys. Somebody's got my serum. Who's got 
up my serum. <laughs> it's back, 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 back. Anybody, somebody? Oh, it's there? Can we pass it back up here just so I can put some in the models here? We're going to still have them at the stand as well. We've got all of our products that are in our aftercare range and all of the products that we've been using up here today as well at the stand. So feel free to come over and speak to us and ask the guys. We've got lots of um, sales and technician over there. So if you want to ask a different way to perhaps use it or something that we do in the salon personally, then by all means come over and ask. Thank you. So what's the verdict? Does everyone like the serum? Yeah? <laughs> yes? Yeah? Cool. Right. Okay, can we have a round of applause? Come on! I'm sure you guys enjoyed.